Now, quite constantly, I get questions about how do I install a Dean's connector on a battery. So I figured it's going to make a video dedicated to this. Today, I've got a brand new Echo One 11.1 volt stick lipo. But oh no, it's got a to me a plug. So we're going to be removing this today and installing a Dean's plug on here. So before we actually get started on doing our battery, we need to have a few tools first. We need some wire cutters wire strippers, and these actually double as wire cutters, but I ended up mangling the cutting portion of it, so I'm just using these as wire strippers. Gonna need some solder. I've got a pretty big roll here. This is gonna last me a lifetime. Obviously a female Dean's connector, and you usually get these in packs. You can pick them up at Hobby Town, uh, online, any like uh, hobby kit store you might have in your area too. And you can order them on just about any airsoft website. And usually they come with two pieces of heat shrink. And if they don't, I usually like to get my heat shrink maybe about a half an inch long or so, or just a little bit less. And you want your heat shrink to just about be able to fit a BB through it, so maybe about five or six millimeters in width. So what I like to start out doing is taking my soldering iron here, and that is one other thing you'll need that's kind of an obvious thing, and kind of prepping your connector. Notice I've got this in a vice grip here, and I'm going to put a little bit of solder on either end of the connector. Now, if you put too much solder on these, it just makes a mess. It's not the greatest connection in the world, and it just looks bad too. So just put a dab on here. It should just be literally a little bit of drop. Now this next step, once you do it, there's no turning back, so be sure you want to do it. A lot of people cut both of these wires at once. I don't recommend that, especially on LiPos. You can short it out, or on just a regular uh, NIM or NICAD battery, you can get a nice big spark. So one at a time here, just be very careful, get a nice clean cut. Now I have both of these ends cut. I'm only going to strip one right now. And I usually use the 16 gauge stripper there. Now we've got our little bit of exposed wire here. You don't want to do these at the same time, that way you don't risk the ends touching each other and that can be very bad. Now we want to do what's called tinning your wire. Put a little bit of solder on your soldering iron and just kind of coat the tip of the wire in solder. That way it'll easily connect to your connector when you end up soldering it on in just a second here. Now for this portion you should already have your heat shrink on your wire here. And remember this is a T connector or a Dean's connector so the red wire always goes at the top of the T here. Alright just heat it up lightly. Wait for it to cool. You may want to use gloves or needle nose pliers to hold the wire because sometimes it can get very hot. Now go ahead and use your heat tool. Melt your heat shrink over your connector. And that's one end done. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process on the other wire here. And with all those steps repeated again, we have our Dean's connector installed on our battery. Hope this has been helpful, guys. If you have any more questions, please feel free to put them in the comments. Thanks. Take it easy.